Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly discuss the difference between obligate aerobes, obligate anaerobes, facultative anaerobes, and aerotolerant anaerobes. So let's get started. First off, we have obligate aerobes, which are organisms that require oxygen to live. Obligate aerobes require oxygen in order to generate energy for aerobic respiration. A really important example of obligate aerobes are Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is the bacteria that causes tuberculosis. Next up, we have obligate anaerobes, which are organisms that die in the presence of oxygen. If these organisms are placed in an environment that contains oxygen, they won't be able to survive. Because of this, obligate anaerobes generate energy by fermentation or by anaerobic respiration. Next, we have facultative anaerobes, which can survive both in the presence and absence of oxygen. Facultative anaerobes are special because they're able to toggle between aerobic respiration if oxygen is present, or if oxygen isn't present, can generate energy by fermentation or anaerobic respiration. The ability to toggle between these forms of energy production is the key characteristic of facultative anaerobes. A really good example of these organisms is E. coli. Next, we have aerotolerant anaerobes which are able to survive in the presence of oxygen, but don't use it to produce energy. This is where the name aerotolerant comes from. While they're able to tolerate the oxygen, they don't actually use it to produce energy. Instead, they generate energy via fermentation. Hopefully this table will help summarize everything we've just discussed. Be sure to pause it to test your understanding of these different categories. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks.